back. Right, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to actually just like merge it first. We're going to be getting all this area here around this corner to mould around here. If you get what I mean. Just so I can, I've got a space to join onto the trigger, and then I'm going to start building up this area down here and just basically putting in the whole shape of the weapon of the handle and underneath here. It's going to come out of here first, and it's going to come back into here. Um, right, I know what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm just going to select all these. If I can select them. <laughs> and I'm just going to hold shift and bring them down. And I'm just going to move them vaguely into position and just go around and put them all in position, basically. Right now that's just about done, I can come back in here, come back to this view and I'm going to bring them back. Right, what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to come out of here, I'm just going to pull the whole model back. You'll see why in a second, but I'm just going to come back into edge mode, select these and put these on zero. I'm just trying to, because I'm going to be ab adding a symmetry map to this, so I need to make sure that it's all in the right place, basically. Just select all of my model. Bring it, oops. Select all my model. Bring it back. I'll just reposition everything in a second. I just want to try and get... this area done. Well, that's just about right. Remember I've this is on exact zero, this is where my symmetry map's gonna make my thing flip over basically. I think I actually think that's a bit too far out so I'm just gonna come out of this view, go up into my top view, select all of them on this side, ma making sure I'm not dragging these here. Just gonna pull these in a bit. I'll do. I'll change it probably later on. I'm just going to select these and push them back. And there we go. Now I'm just going to select this model, come down to my modifier list and add a symmetry modifier. Where can I find it? There it is. And now it's actually a symmetry, symmetry mapping it in the wrong direction so I'm just going to change it to Z and come down here and change the mirror to zero. So can you remember how I put that on zero? Now it's perfect. Just come on, take that off. It's actually looking a bit too thick at the moment, but that doesn't really matter. I'll change that later on. I don't really. And I'm just going to come back into here. Select my model. I'm going to put a connect through all of these. I want to round, because at the moment this is just a sharp edge, and I want to round it off a bit. So I'll just put a connect through there, select these. Come back to this viewport so I can see what I'm doing. And just pull them out. Now you can see it's kind of smooth and round. In fact, I'm going to have to totally move the positions of them, because I'm going to bring them down a tiny little bit. It's only a small amount, but it'll make it a lot smoother. Get that in the right position. Come back out of here, come back in here. I'll just take off my edges and show you. Now you can see how it kind of smooths around. That's looking quite nice. Oops. sec. Don't mind what I'm doing here. I'm just yeah, I didn't change my model. I was just checking to see if I moved my model then, because I moved it slightly. Right, now I'm actually gonna build up this area down here. I'm just gonna quickly do it. It's not gonna be that good, but I don't really need it, because I'm gonna be working on this area later on anyway. I just want to try and get a basic shape going. 
so I've got something to work with and I can start to link up this area. I might get away with three segments. I'll probably have to add another one later on because I've got a feeling why I'll have to. Because I'm going to have to connect this area up here and it's going to be a bit weird without quite a lot of segments. Let's pull these back a bit. Right, that's just the basic shape, just so I've got something to work with. Oh, in fact, to bring that down a bit. Um, in fact, to rotate this so it's a bit straighter, and I'll do it. Because I'm going to have to put an indent in there soon anyway. I'm just going to come here and select. Sorry, wrong one. I'm just going to select all these faces on the outside again. Same with what I did here, and I'm just going to drag them and put them in position. best thing about the method I'm using at the moment to actually make the edges is really fast well I think it is anyway just to quickly get Oops. right I'm actually just going to put my edges on here and I'm going to find out what level this is on it's going to copy it undo so I'm back onto that I don't need to reselect them and I'm going to paste it in there and hold down shift and bring these out and put them on zero now I know for definite that it's flowing correctly come out here, do exactly what I did before where I just connected them in fact I might as well just move them forward a bit because I know I'm going to have to just like them, in fact I could just copy this one just to get it perfect. See how that looks. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. How oh, it's oh, no, it's got a problem already. Just check to see if these are on zero. Ah, yeah, I must have moved part of my model. I think this whole bottom section is actually messed up. I'm just going to quickly just check it. 12486. Aha. Sorry, but I'm just going to have to quickly change some things. A part of my model must have actually moved without me wanting it to. What level are these on? These going to need to come back as well. I'm being quite exact in figures. It's because if later on, if I want to change how the model looks, then it's a bit easier to do if you know exactly what level everything's on. It's happened there as well. Sorry about this. Right. I don't know what I must have done. I must have dragged something by accident. At least I can show you how I'm going to sort it. I mean in the long run I don't think it would actually matter very much, it's just I'd just like to be exact. And in case like later on it did come back to bug me, I've just fixed it before I make any more detail in my model. Oh you forgot to put that in a zero as well. I'm actually quite a clumsy person with my mouse and keyboard, so I tend to do it quite a lot. Right now I've got the space got this ready and prepared so